now since we've checked out just some genuine entitled people. So we are doing that today. Oh, we got some baby shower rules, everybody. So my baby shower is in two days and apparently people don't know that they aren't supposed to show up to a baby shower empty handed. The purpose of a baby shower is to shower the baby with a gift. I made a simple stating, if you come empty handed, you are not allowed to eat or have alcoholic drinks. Those who brought a gift will get a wristband at the door and they are welcome to eat and drink as they please. It seems as though people aren't too fond of this rule. <laughs> But to be honest, I don't care because the time and money it took to prepare for this baby shower was very hectic to just allow people to eat and drink for free without getting my baby anything. For all that, I'd rather they not show up. Am I being dramatic with this whole gift situation? Yeah. No one told you to have a baby shower. No one told you to spend your time and money on throwing a baby shower for yourself. You're choosing to do that. You're choosing to provide the food and alcohol for this event. I feel like most people know and want to bring a, a gift to a baby shower anyways, but when someone states it and is like, you're not allowed to eat or drink if you don't bring a gift, I'm probably not going. Free, urgent, dining room, table. Hi, I could come take it for you if you could contribute $20 to fuel for us. We can come dismantle and take for you. Offers there if you want and no one else picks up. It will be going on the nature strip for council pickup if no one takes it. I won't be paying to get rid of it. Yeah, that don't make no sense. They're giving something away for free. Why would I wanna spend $20? to get rid of it. I'll just carry it to the end of my driveway. Calgary Marketplace. Looking to hire a private female chef for a women's only retreat, September 9th to 12th. Must be able to cook healthy, vegetarian, dairy-free, and gluten-free dishes. This is where I'm hosting so you can see the kitchen is top of the line. 20 people. Friday is a light welcome snack and dinner. Saturday slash Sunday is breakfast, dinner, snack slash light lunch, late night snack, and Monday is breakfast. I have a menu you can use or you can present your own menu ahead of time. Option to shop for own ingredients or you can supply me with a list. Must have food safety, etc. Accommodation and some classes included. Please send me your background if you're interested and available these dates. Must have own transportation located in blank. Wait, you're looking to hire, but I don't see any kind of rate here of pay. Someone wrote, I'm confused. You want a chef for an entire weekend with a very specific set of culinary skills for free? Paying for their accommodations and offering free classes doesn't count as compensation. That's $1,800 to two grand worth of work you are asking for free, good luck. So you're not looking to hire someone. Let's be real, that's not hiring someone. That is seeking a volunteer. Free futon, I'll take it. Okay, she wants to come tonight. What is your address? It is too late tonight. 10.38. <gasps> so it's 10.38 p.m. She can only do it tonight. She has four kids. Unfortunately, I've gone to bed. Cannot do it tonight. Okay, if it's in the driveway, she can grab it. It's not in the driveway anymore because it was going to rain. It's not happening tonight. It's not happening ever and you are getting a poor review for being rude. Ma, I'm sleeping. I'm in bed. I'm not getting up to put a couch outside at 10.38 p.m. Sorry, like they weren't rude at all. They're in bed. Funny, I made a post about finding kittens homes for free. I get almost 100 messages, inboxes, and emails, but when I make a post about getting help in my cash app for my daughter's college tuition, nobody wants to support something so amazing as education. How funny is that? I wanna find an innocent little animal home rather than paying for your child's education. I feel like people have their own education to pay for or their own children's education, education to pay for and finding a kitten a home for free, it, like, where's the toss up? If I gotta pick one, I'm picking the little kitten. Do you still have them? The group is named Wired Beats. So they're probably selling Wired Beats. Yes, it's available. Okay, hold on, you need punctuation. Can you deliver it? My son's birthday is tomorrow and I do not drive and I am looking for this for him. What will I be getting in return? Nothing, I don't have no money. Why, what is your name? Just forget it then. So you wanted it for free and you wanted them to deliver it. I wouldn't answer either. That That's, I would ghost mode, million percent. 
ghosted. Is anyone able to make this? That is stunning. I'd like all black satin robe with the feathered trim. Looking to spend around $50 and needed by July 15th. Ship to air and May. Where the hell's that? Thanks. Yeah, no. I like that the admin turned off commenting for this post at the very bottom because I guarantee it was getting nasty. I'm just looking at that fabric and that amount of satin probably costs over $50. I mean, and the feathering and all that, like that would take time and money. That is gorgeous. Like what does that one cost? Let's be real. What does that one cost? Probably a lot. All right, you get a TV and a TV stand for free. No. Not for free. So I'm not entitled to a free TV because I do not drive, shake my head. And I got to be charged delivery for something that's free, shake my head. I'm not driving an hour one way to give you something for free. It's not my fault you can't effing drive, you effing loser. I'll throw it out before I deliver it for free. Now I understand. It is in fact free, but they're not gonna drive an hour each way probably to give you something that's free. That's gas money, that's time. Now I'm understanding. Yeah, it probably says pickup only and they're hoping for delivery. $30 customer appreciation. Huh? Hi there, hope you are well. What is the update on my request? Okay. Hi, I love blank and have always been impressed with your customer service. I reviewed my purchases with so-and-so since April 7th, 2020. In the past year alone, I've spent at least $33. As a valued customer and someone who intends on making future purchases, I was wondering if you could offer store credit, gift card, or promo code of at least $30 off or 30% off an upcoming purchase. Even if you don't have a rewards program, and even if you already have a points program, I would still really like a discount I can use. If not, what are the best promo codes you have right now? Thank you. Well, aren't they nice to block out the name of that person? Because valued customer at $33. And hey, maybe for a small business it is, but it's not sounding that way. And um, basically, you spent the money, you enjoy our products, and you're asking for almost all your money back. So you pretty much did not spend $30 at our business if we're just giving that back to you, you know? Okay, see you soon. I'm still an hour away, but okay, see you soon. Is there a sticker on the inside wall of the dresser with model number? No, but the style is the Malm. If there is no sticker, I can't be sure it's Ikea. Are there warning stickers in the drawers? No, we pulled all the stickers off when we built it, but it's Ikea. If you don't want it, no worries. It is too far for me to not know for sure. Cool. They wanted to know and prove that if it was Ikea, like just look on the Ikea website at the Malm and compare them. Everyone rips on Ikea's quality, like that it's like a cheaper quality, but every piece of Ikea furniture that I have bought has lasted me years. I don't know if I just have good luck or something, but everyone's always complaining about Ikea and I'm like, we're friends. Me and Ikea are good friends. Anything less than $1,600 is a waste of money. LMAO, you want me to vote 1,600? Yes, LOL, you are a New York City lawyer and I'm your friend of eight years that you want to marry. I mean, if you'd rather sponsor my gown or my photo shoot, let me know. I mean, if we were already dating or married, I'd drop that in a heartbeat for you, lol. Wow, I can't believe you. 1600 though, like I'm saving up to buy property. That's like not a show of good faith. You could send me money for my gown and photos, etc. I also need some lessons on walking. When have I ever asked for money in eight years? This is an expensive investment. Now, what the hell is this for? A fashion show? A fitness competition show? Like your gown? Oh, like a pageant? A gown, a photo shoot, and you need to learn how to walk. This is just kind of awkward. It's kind of awkward. You want to marry them, but like you're not even dating? How does that add up? Okay, those are entitled people, everybody. Be nice to one another. Stay sassy out there, but keep it classy. You can have a classy amount of sass. I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow.